Here we go, 12,969, superlative. Like Johnny Cash, Elvis, Corn. like literally I can do one after the other, Eminem, there's no, pretty much a bit of everything. I like to diversify my portfolio. But everything's always acquired taste, I agree. All right, we've got number 25 of 30. Superlative signature memorabilia. Number five spot, Ted Lindsay. Ash, oh, singing? Uh, yeah, I do. She loves to sing. We've got an Immortals, numbered 16 of 25, Mike Madonna. Hey, you know what? Singing is a good sign. It means you're in a great mood. I will happily take uh, someone who wants to be here and open cards and is in a good mood over someone who does not want to be here and not open cards. <laughs> We've got a signature memorabilia auto card. So, Golden, if you don't mind looking this one up quickly, of Sergei Fedorov. I feel like it would be very similar to Forsberg, but this is a signature memorabilia card. So a bit different. Sig Mem. And we've got, oh, it's sick, numbered eight of 15, Steve Iserman. Iserman, eight of 15. So here's another fun conversation I had. And it goes to show you some people's, fun, like, their mentality. I'll, I'll tell you a funny story. Numbered six of 18 patch, Dougie Gilmore, six spot. We've got number two of 15, quad mem of Bobby Hall, Brett Hall, Max Domi, Ty Domi. That's a cool card. Two of 15, two spot, and big finish. Yeah, it's not bad. We've got numbered three of eight, and this is rare to see, three color swatch for the Maple Leafs, Matt Sundin. Three of eight, Matt Sundin. All right. Did anyone check on the Forsberg, for, or sorry, not Forsberg, Fedorov? I got to uh, do the random on that. I presume again there'd be 10, but... I will presume it's 10, and we'll go from there. All right, the one random. Here we go, three times. One, two, three. Number four spot. There you go. Number four, Bobby All. So the one conversation is is the same guy who talked about the PSA uh, PSA Pokemon card and the whatever, and he was saying why uh, what was he saying? And another guy was in a store and debating with them, basically saying why would you want to buy MNT if you could buy PSA and it's higher? And he then said that MNT grades harder. So it's funny because I think I dumbfounded the guy in a good way because I said to him I go well Han. If MNT grades harder, and you don't and you don't want to keep it in MNT, why not buy the MNT card at a cheaper discount? Apparently, get it regraded by PSA or Beckett, and you'll you'll apparently make more money. If if it is honestly, if MNT nine or nine five is a PSA ten, why would you not buy a discounted per se MNT card and turn it? If that is honestly the truth, why would you not? You know how much money you guys could make on that? Like in all honesty, you know how much money you guys could make if, if that's honestly what the case was? Yeah, the PSA 10 Matthews I think is like, I don't know, five, 600 bucks. 
Buy not buy nine five then. Buy nine five MT for like two hundred and fifty bucks or two hundred bucks. If you're really that confident, like again, that should almost boost MT. <laughs> Wow, that's pretty sick. Is Eulogy the one that has a ticking start? Where it goes. Apparently, that's my way of singing that. Or does it go like. Yeah, I think it's that one. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. There you go, folks. That's my singing. I don't know if it's better than Ashley's, but. So, let's see where we're at now, folks. We got one left in the ultimate. The double up's filled. By the way, the monster, as I said, the Bobby Orr remains in there. If we get a filled by nine, double ballots for the next four spots. The Edmonton spot will get double ballots as well. Be that is purchased. But you have till nine to get the, the break filled. To get the Bobby Orr still in there, guys. I'm trying to help you guys out. Yeah, I love uh, I love that song, honestly. I love all Tool songs. All right, let me get the randoms ready. Pull the double up. Yeah, no, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think what else is fun conversations we can have. Uh, we might be going on a lockdown again in Ontario. That'd be fun. So we might go for round two of that. So that'll be day to day. We're apparently going to be in red zone tomorrow. So for those who uh, come into our store... No idea if that's going to be allowed in the next week or so. We're not too sure yet. Here, okay, so here's uh, here's an honest question for customers. And I honestly, guys, I don't want you to say this biasly. I want you to act, like honestly think if you are local to my store, how does it make you feel? If we preemptively shut down and obviously did like drop off, like, you know, you knock on the door, you give us a call, we give you the product. Would that make you angry if we're not locked down in the city yet? So Daryl, the way a lockdown works for us is everything essentially remains the exact same Except that you have to order online, and then when you come to our store, you just give us a call, we bring it outside to you. It just basically means you can't step foot in our store. Yeah, like, so if I don't have to lock down, would I, again, and I know Rich said this, so I'm not just saying this because of it, and I think you guys know my stances with my staff. As cases get bigger, I don't want my staff having a more of a shot or an opportunity to get affected. The other thing I do want you guys to consider is, let's say on a hypothetical, myself or Ashley get infected with COVID. We can't do breaks now for two weeks, so you're basically hurting the other person because the other person would have to do 14 days mi excuse me minimum of breaks in a row which it is very tough it, it kills a lot of your nights you're obviously exhausted doing it so we are very careful my staff is always 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 top priority for me so it's not whether i'm not like if my business suffers a bit so be it my staff's always gonna be top priority in terms of their safety but like to me it's like I feel like within a week or two it's inevitable. I think we're gonna lock down within a week or two. Anna could do breaks. Yeah, she probably's gonna have to learn very quickly. I wouldn't be uh, surprised on that one. Alright, here we go. Twelve thousand nine fifty-five. 
Here we go, 12,955, the random three times. One, two, three. Copy, paste. One, two, three. Copy, paste. T-Birds, Columbus. Red Eyes got Washington. KK's got New Jersey. Allen, Nashville. Seawaz has Dallas. Snow, Vancouver. Chef's got Rangers. Red Eye, Arizona. Snow, Ottawa. What a legend, Philly. KK's got Florida, Toronto. EI's got Tampa. Or is it L? L, there you go. Red Eye's got Anaheim. Snow's got Pittsburgh. Happy's got Winnipeg. Foil's got Boston, Detroit. Happy San Jose. L's got Carolina. T-Birds has Chicago. Chef's got LA. Snow, Buffalo. Fergie. Got Montreal. Red Eye's got St. Louis. What a legend, Colorado. Fergie's got Calgary. KK at Money. Siwa's Islanders. And Allen's got Minnesota. All right. Um, well, again, SARS was worse. What do you, how do you classify worse? I'm sure SARS might have, like, been more... As far as I read, SARS was, I think, harsher as a virus, but I'm saying this is way more contagious, if, if I'm hearing correctly. Oh, that's awesome, Daryl. I think a lot of people are confused, especially younger people, that COVID is not going to kill most likely the younger people. It's not, I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about my parents. Like, as I said, in my age group, which is a 30 to 39, I have a 0.0004% of dying. I'm probably not going to die. But I'm saying it's it's more so when you look at the older folks, that's where you want to be careful. And unfortunately, I feel like a lot of young people will miss that point. Until you have a parent or a grandparent that passes away from this, I think then that's when you'll take it seriously. If you haven't already, what I'm saying. The other thing is, you are completely correct on that. Nobody knows what the long-term effects are on this. Not yet. And that's always a scary thing. You don't know, like, maybe you get it, for example. Maybe young people who get it, it might reduce their lung capacity by 50% and they don't know about it yet. The problem is, if that's what, uh, if that's what happens, like, and they don't know about it yet... It's very possible. Yeah, you know what? I, I, I'm not going to say strict is the right way. And I'm not saying it's the wrong way. You just got to be smart about it. And I think a lot of people are being smart about it. Like, if you don't need to go do something, you don't need to go do it. I know it's a massive inconvenience for a lot of people. And trust me, it sucks, like, not to be able to go holiday. It sucks not to be able to go to movies. It sucks. It's not the end of the world. Like, at the end of the day, if I have to miss that for a year to save one person's life, I feel like it's worth it.
Wow. That's the thing. It's obviously, you know, it has attacked other people, like younger people too. Like as I said, there's someone who was under 20 in, in Canada who's died from, from COVID. Like, oh, I know. It's just, as I said, it's one of those things that I don't think it's like crazy deadly, for example, for younger people. And I feel like they just feel like they're invincible by it. But people's got to realize a lot of people have underlying conditioning uh, conditions. Like I have, I, I'm diabetic. I don't know if I got it, how much it would affect me. Maybe it kills me. Maybe it doesn't. Who knows? I'm not going to take that chance. I would prefer not to play that game. I feel like it's a little smarter not to play that game. So if I don't need to go out and do things, then you know what? So be it. All right, no trades to report. Yeah, Justin is probably on the bottom of your screen. There's a uh, settings. You can go all the way up to 1080p. Super crystal clear. But I'm hoping by end of next year, the world's pretty much back to normal, which would be nice. But we still got at least six months to a year before this kind of gets cleaned up, per se. Just be patient. It'll happen. It'll happen. All right. You just did a way better video. Yeah, if anyone wants to know, by the way, uh, on the bottom of the screen, we have up to 1080, like 1080p. It's pretty damn good. So, I highly recommend it, guys. All right, good luck. I don't know what I, I, I guess my one video.